Welcome back. We are slowly starting to gather with friends, depending on where we live, to spend some time together, of course, at a safe social distance. Since movie nights are out of the question, why not create a movie theater in your backyard to enjoy with a few friends? Sarah Gunn is here now to show us how. And Sarah, let's just start by talking about how to pick a spot. You know what, you want to find an area in your backyard or front yard that has a lot of open space so that you can spread everybody out. So for you, that might be your driveway. We have a shared driveway, so that doesn't really work for us. It could be your backyard like we're doing now. Or if you have a nice lawn, um, you could set up in the grass as well. It looks beautiful. And now what do we need to think about when it comes to a backdrop? What I've got here is a large piece of vinyl fabric that you just buy it by the yard um, at any fabric store, which is great. But you can use a white sheet, a white blanket. If you have a shed in your backyard that's a really light color, you could project on that as well. So there are a few different options. You just want to make sure that you have a fence or your garage door somewhere to just tack it or tape it up. That is a great idea. Yeah, it's simple, right? Um, but then you need something to actually project what you want to watch. So I've got this really cool, compact, actually very stylish projector. It is a streaming projector by Epson. It's their EF100. It has the speaker built in. It's nice and small, so it's portable. Um, and it projects a really large image. We were actually sitting out here watching a movie last night, and it was really, really fun. Okay, the next thing you need to think about is where you're going to sit. I love your setup right there. It looks gorgeous. It's really fun. So I have these super comfortable, lightweight chairs from Ikea with some cushions on them. I like that you can move them around very easily because they're not too heavy. Um, and then the cushions, of course, are going to add some comfort. Uh, but there's so many options for this. If you have a sectional in your backyard, you can take it apart into pieces and put it into rows. I actually got a measuring stick out and measured six feet between these two rows of seats just to make sure that it was safe. You could dust off those uh, collapsible chairs that we normally bring to our kids sporting events that we're not using right now and use those. Now because you're Sarah, let's talk decor because it looks gorgeous out there. <laughs> well, it has to look good too, right? So, but also be functional. So these little side tables are really, really great. Again, I've got the projector on one, but I've got lanterns on the other one in there behind me. Great for setting drinks and snacks um, or your phone if you want to keep it nearby. And then I thought it would be really fun to just add some of these lights around the screen. And the cool thing about those, they're also from Ikea, they're solar powered. So you don't worry about having a power source for those. They can kind of go anywhere. That is so smart. Now the, the thing I think on a lot of people's minds right now is food and drink. How do you navigate that? Well, here's the thing. I think it's never been easier to host people at your house. You don't have to clean inside because nobody's going in there. You don't have to make food or drinks for anybody. I really recommend that everyone brings their own. That's what I've done the couple times I've done this. I brought my own snacks, brought my own drinks, my own cups, everything. Um, but if you are wanting to serve something, what I recommend is doing single use items, like individually packaged things, and then offer disinfectant wipes for people to wipe them down and wipe their hands down. And of course, like a recycling and a garbage spot somewhere for them to dispose of them safely too. Sarah, thank you so much for that. That looks so 